Hi, I'm George and I'm here with another double E video. So this problem that we're looking at down here is an IC design problem and is asking us to create a, a transistor level schematic for a uh, layout that we're seeing down here. So what I'll do is I'm going to start by, by drawing the PMOS side of the circuit uh, from the top down. So we're starting here at VDD and what we're going to do is we're going to look at everything that's connected to VDD. So we have this side right here and this side right here. So these two transistors are connected and where do they go? So we have this transistor coming across here to this node and this guy comes across here to, uh, to between uh, gates A and B but there's no connections there so let's keep going. There's two and there's three and now we've hit another node. So what does this mean? This means that we have one, two, three transistors on the left side and only one transistor on the right side, indicated by the number of times that you hop across a gate, or a, a, a line of polysilicon. So how we would draw this is we have one PMOS, two PMOS, three PMOS, and this is line A, this is line B, and this is line C. And then we have one other PMOS circuit, or PMOS uh, transistor, and they're all connected to VDD. And you can see that because they're both connected to VDD and they go to the same node, they're running in parallel. Now what are these running to? They're running to, well, I'll draw it like this. This entire line right here is Y. So it's the output. So we're gonna draw this as the output Y. All right, now, what we're going to do now is look from the bottom up at the NMOS circuit. So let's start from ground. We have a connection here, a connection here, and that looks like it. So we have two. We <clears throat> excuse me. We have two uh, two transistor circuits running in parallel from the ground. But let's see what happens as we go up toward uh, toward the output. So we cross over here into a node, but this guy right here can go in either direction. Now, the key here is to see that right here at this node, this is running, or this is the same node as this right here. So you can consider this entire part of the circuit to be a single, a single point electrically. So what this means is we have one transistor, and two transistor, three transistors, but these two are essentially parallel to this guy. And then we finally have a fourth transistor that goes to the output. So, how do we draw this? So, we'll go backwards from the output. We have one NMOS transistor, D, indicated by polysilicon level, or line D. And then we have our three parallel inputs. One, two, and three. And we have A, B, B, and D. And all of them are connected to ground. Let's see. And that's pretty much it. So, if you if you have any other, this is a this is a very simple. Pro, this was the first uh, the first layout problem that I received as a student in uh, in my IC design class. So hopefully, if you're just getting started out, this will help you kind of understand how to look at these. And and I'll be doing some more videos in the future talking about more complicated versions of of this kind of problem. Also, how to create a, a stick diagram for or, or when you only have a schematic. All right, well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them uh, down below in the comment section. And uh, good luck.